Wixy Little has asked me for some advice on some tackle to catch redfin in lakes because Wixie's getting some fishing gear for Christmas or a voucher for Christmas and wants to know what the best lures are for Lake Redfin. Yeah, they're going mad! <laughs> Finally! Rightio Wixie, without too much information it's hard to give the best level of advice. I'm not sure whether you're fishing in a shallow lake or a deep lake or a dirty lake or a clear lake or you just want some general information to cover all lakes. So what I'm going to do is tell you what I use and what my favourites are and these two lures or two types of, of lures are my go-to lures and these are the lures that I just won't go past and what I'll try first. Now, for redfin, it's very, very hard to go past soft plastics. They are the most versatile lure of the lot. My favourite is the Strike Tiger 2.5 inch, it might be 2 inch, sorry, the Strike Tiger 2 inch curl tail grub in white bait pearl colour. Rigged with around about a five gram jig head. That can be cast out from the bank and retrieved. It can be bounced along as you retrieve it. It can also be fished vertically, straight down below your boat or your kayak or off a steep bank or a log. So it's very versatile. It can be fished shallow, it can be fished deep. There's a whole heap of different soft plastics on the market, but the Strike Tiger two inch grub in white bait pearl is my favorite all rounder for redfin. This one, here's another good one. These are both the same. They're the Strike Tiger Nymphs. That one's white bait pearl colour. This one here is an orange spawn colour. Now the Nymphs, they're very good soft plastics for redfin, but they're a bit on the small side. So if you're in a bigger lake, like Lake Hume or Waranga Basin or something like that, and you're casting from the bank where there's a lot of little fish busting up, and you just want to catch a fish because it wiggles, you cannot go past the Strike Tiger Nymphs. With a small, a small hook and a small jig head, I can't go into exact sizes on jig heads because there's a lot of variables depending how deep you're fishing, how far you need to cast, how windy it is. You might need a heavier jig head to cast into the wind. But usually something about three or four grams with a small hook is quite sufficient for a strike tiger nymph and bright colours. So my favourite is that white bait pearl colour there in the two inch grub for redfin. There it goes. In the two inch grub for redfin or these nymphs. I haven't actually got any grubs on me at the moment, but I've got these nymphs. They are dynamite for a redfin. Now, all soft plastics will work. It's up to you what you find to be your favourite. And you might take quite a few different sorts. Some the tails get bitten off a bit easier than others. Some melt if they're left in the sun. Some you just might like the colours better than others. I do recommend the Strike Tiger. They are a sponsor of mine, but they're a very, very good product. And that's why you see me using them so often. They're a lot stronger than a lot of other soft plastics. And that white bait pearl colour, whoa, that's deadly on redfin. So that's my go-to redfin lure if I'm fishing in lakes. I'll just say it one more time, the Strike Tiger 2 inch grub in white bait pearl or the Strike Tiger Nymph in white bait pearl or orange spawn. Redfin love bright colours. Now, if I'm trawling or even casting lures from a kayak, but more so for trawling from a boat or something, these are my favourite trawling lures. That is the Halco Crazy Deep. Now I'll just come out of the frame there and see if I can get the camera to focus on that. There it is. That is the Halco Crazy Deep. They are my favourite. They're quite easy to find. Most tackle shops seem to stock Halco lures. Halco is quite a big brand name in Australian fishing. The Halco Crazy Deep P50 8 metre plus. It's got the big bib at the front here. You want the model with the big bib and that gets down deep. If I'm trawling at Lake William Hovel or Lake Buffalo, I can trawl that down using 15 or 20 pound braided line. I can still get that down to about 18 to 20 feet of water. And it's bright coloured. I love bright colours for redfin. In fact, I've still got my, my rod rigged up here. It's got the bright green Halco Crazy Deep on it that you can see there. That's what I was using at Lake Nilakuti last week. I trawled one little yellow belly with it and a couple of small undersized Murray cod. But that's why they're my favourite trawling lures for perch, whether it's a yellow belly, which is a golden perch, or a redfin, which is an English perch. They're small, they're bright coloured, and they always swim very well, and they dive down very deep. So, with these Halco Crazy Deeps, they're a deep diving lure. There's others as well. I've heard the AC Invader, the little 50mm AC Invader can get down even deeper again. But this is the one that I use. The thing I like about these is that they're easy to find and they're actually quite well priced in today's market as opposed to a lot of other different lures of the same sort of size. 
Now, just one last thing. There are a lot of other different techniques. There's vibes, there's all kinds of things. If you're just fishing off the bank, you might like to use a bladed spinner, such as a Super Vibrax. They cast really far. A blade, like a seven gram TT switch blade, you can cast them that far that when you let go of the bale, you can go and make a cup of coffee and come back and the lure still hasn't landed. <laughs> they cast a mile and they do catch redfin. Blades, bladed spinners, there's all these ice jigs, lipless crankbaits, little vibes, they all work. But you asked me what my favourites were and these are what I use first every time. I hope this has helped you, Wixie, and I hope you get lots of fishing gear for Christmas.